A lot of Etsy sellers sell in bulk, such as this clipart bundle right here, or this t-shirt bundle right here, or this one. And bundles are great because they sell very well, but they can be time consuming. And we're going to go through this video very quickly today, okay? Because I got places to go. It's going to be fast videos, just as the tool that will allow you to create stuff in bulk that I want to show you and remove background in bulk as well. So if you've not been keeping up with me lately, I made this tool to make your life easier. If you want to sell digital products or print on products on Etsy, this is the one. It's called Creatorium AI. I'm going to have a link somewhere in this video. So I want to walk you through the simple workflow of how would you do it. So first I would go and try to find a popular design. And I'm going to use our Etsy research tool that is built in with Creatorium AI. And this tool is built to scan popular designs and best sellers and the ones that have a lot of add to carts. So let's say I want to create a clip art bundle. I'm going to go to the clip art section. So I'm going to see only clip art stuff because this tool tracks a bunch of different products as well. So just some simulation designs, etc. And let's pick the clip art bundle that looks interesting to me, such as this bundle right here that's selling for $2.75. Let's check it out what it looks like on Etsy. So it has 20 add to cards. It's a bestseller and it's been listed a couple days ago and it's already a bestseller. So that's a very good sign that people really are liking this design. It has 25 elements. So it would take us a minute to create all of them, but I'm going to show you how you can create this very, very fast. So we're going to use this tool called crop for ai which will allow me to crop out an element and the reason being why I want to crop out an element is because I want to teach AI how to create similar elements, okay? And I'm, I'm not trying to do exactly what they're doing. I'm trying to teach AI how to create similar styles. So I'm going to click on Save and Cropped. And check this out. I just cropped this element. I got the little vampire. And I'm going to use this vampire for our AI. I'm going to e teach AI how to create these images in bulk. So now we're going to go to our second tool, which is the AI and image text generator. And by the way, we just added a new AI model, Nano Banana, which allows you to upload two reference photos and combine them into one. It's really, really good. But for our example, we're going to go with the Flux context and I'm going to click on upload reference photo. And the reference photo is where you teach AI what are you looking for, okay? So I just uploaded the reference photo and I'm going to click on get AI prompt. So that way AI is going to recognize what's on the photo and it's going to try to give me a prompt that I can use to create something similar. All right, so we get the prompt. I'm going to click on use and I'm going to click on generate to get our first photo. And in the meantime, I'm also going to click on get variants. So when I click on get variants, I'm going to get eight different prompt variants that are going to create similar objects in the same style. The variants are being generated, but I already got this one as first one, okay? And check this out. I can either download the photo or I can remove background from it. So it's going to be on a transparent background. So if you click on remove BG, you're going to see there there's four different background removals. I recommend to start with this one first. And the reason being why there's a bunch of different background removals is because some of them work better with different models. So for example, one model works better with like elements that are darker. Like if there's a lot of back, black background, some models works better with there's a lot of white background, easy to remove. And there's a premium one, which to costs tokens, which usually works the best with everything. But just start with this one first and then go to the other three ones. That way you don't have to waste tokens on it, okay? So let's go with the first one. And check this out. We're going to remove background very, very easily. Boom. It's on a transparent background. I can download it and check this out. You see, it's a transparent, happy vampire. Okay. But I just noticed that we got our eight variants. Okay. So I can click on um, generate and it's going to generate a particular variants. So I can just click on the first one, for example, and we're going to generate that first um, variant. Right. So this is what's happening right now. Okay. We got a little fox. Or I can click on generate all, okay? And when I click on generate all, all eight images are going to be generated at once, okay? So that's eight elements right away, okay? We got our first one, right? And check this out. The second one is going to show up just in a second. It's really cool. Okay, we got our second one. And you can see that they are diverse, okay? We uploaded a vampire, but we are getting a fox, a witch, a ghost, a bunch of different elements. So they are diverse, just like the, the, the competitor, okay? They have a mommy, they have a ghost, they have a Frankenstein, they have a cat. And we're getting a bunch of different Halloween elements in a chibi style right away. And if I want to remove background, I can just click right here. I can remove background, okay? Well, let's do the, uh, let's start working on the second one. Let's remove background. I'm going to click on download and check this out. Boom, has no background, okay? Let's download this one. Check this out. Boom, no background. But now, now I'm not going to remove background from this one. I'm just going to download it, right? Oh, it still has a background. But if I click right here, 
boom. No background. Let's do the other one too. Boom. Check this out. Gone. Okay, this, okay, this one needs a little bit of work. So maybe let's try a different background removal. See, this is what I'm saying. Some background removals work better with different models, okay? So we just did another one. Here we go. Boom. Perfect. This one works better with the, with, with, with the menace, okay? And I got eight different elements really, really fast. Isn't that really cool? I think this is brilliant. I think this is brilliant, guys. And since I have your attention, I want to show you the new mock-up generator with Nano Banana, where you can combine two elements together. So let's say we want to put our little vampire on a t-shirt, right? So we have this little vampire right here, our design of vampire. And now we need the mock-up for the t-shirt. So I'm going to go to the mock-up generator and I can upload that design of the, the vampire that I have right here. And I can just simply say, Put this design on a white t-shirt worn by a black woman. Zoom in on her t-shirt. Okay, and check this out. We can do this. It's gonna do a very, very good job. It's gonna be very simple. Not even, I'm not even impressed right now because this is this is a regular stuff for me at this point. Okay. I'm gonna show you a second really, really cool feature. Okay. And see, boom, we got our design. The quality is really good. It's actually better than the other mock-up generator that we use. Cool, but we can do this. I can upload a second reference photo. And let's say for our second reference photo, I want to use one of the mockups that are already generated. So we got this blonde girl right here, okay? Let me open this in, in big screen so you can say, see the whole image. So this is the blonde girl right here, okay? And she has, she already have a design. She already have something like it. But I want exactly her to wear our t-shirt with our vampire, right? So I'm going to say this, put this design on the girl's t-shirt. So now we're going to combine two different elements together and we're going to create a new mockup. It's really cool. I really like this feature. It's one of the best features that Google has released in a couple of weeks, years. I don't know. It's really cool. Ever since the AI bubble has started. Boom. And you can see now that she's wearing our, our little vampire. Okay. We combine two different photos together. We combine this photo with this photo and we got a new photo that's combining both of them together. I think it's really cool, okay? Guys, if you want to try Creatorium AI, you have a link for it down below. I'm going to give you 20% off coupon for the first month when you join. You see it right here. And if you want to learn how to make money with Etsy or TikTok, well, you can watch my YouTube channel. I have tons of content that you can watch here for free. Just follow me. Or you can join our community on the dropspingle.com. Join our weekly meetings. You can ask questions. You can talk to me. You can watch the courses. You can participate in 60 day XC challenge. It's going to help you motivate you to keep working. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. I will see you next time. See ya.